Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to be walking around a 1972 Monte Carlo. This one here has the matching number 350 under the hood. It does have AC and power steering. I was doing a test drive video and so far so good. Definitely go and check that video out. This car is clean inside and out. And of course, unlike other dealers, we look for the flaws. You can see all the good stuff. We're gonna be trying to find chips, scratches, any kind of rust, dents, uh, I'll be checking that vinyl top, see if it's got any bubbles underneath it. We'll check the trunk out. Interior, start it up, listen to the motor, and give you undercarriage shots. We also have that available on the test drive video with a light that shoots up under the undercarriage. And uh, we're going to get started here. Another big thing about us, we have financing and shipping available with detailed pictures, all at maplemotors.com. Coming around the front end, this one does have some chrome peeling off the front bumper right there. You can see a little bit of pitting. Same thing in this corner. Probably where the water's constantly coming down and hitting right there. Coming around this side, we're gonna go down the lower portion first. This paint is beautiful. This trim looks nice and clean. You got some little spots popping up on the corner there where the paint's kind of thick coming on down there's a dent right here in the door and right above it there's a really small one that left a crease there moving on down a little bit more pretty clean back bumper back here has pitting popping up on it and around the tail lights Coming down the mid section, light scratch there. That should buff out actually. I will slow down and stop when I see stuff. For the most part, this is a clean car, but there is a chip right here. A couple little bubbles right there. Right below the mirror, I can feel them. And right in this section too. It's really hard to see but it's in there. There's a chip right here on top of the fender as well. Coming down the top portion, this thing's got some shine to it. Front window's in good shape. I'm not seeing any chips on this side. We will check the other side. Checking the vinyl top. You wanna check the edges. It's usually where it'll start. start. Woo, it's getting hot. I'm gonna need a glove for the summer. Sun has heated that up for sure. Checking the back area here. I'm not feeling any bumps. It's pretty solid. Coming around the back end here. Do have dual exhaust out the back. I got my magnet tag stuck here. Some of y'all thought I bolted that to it. That'd just be crazy. <laughs> but we do got a lot of pitting popping up on this bumper here. Put the tag back on now. We went over that area. Coming down this section here. Weather stripping looks good. It's actually fairly new. Checking up under the clean, new looking mat. Looks pretty good. Get up in the package tray. They haven't painted it or anything. There's some surface rust on it for sure. Looking around on the edge, the trunk there. It looks nice and clean. Let's come on down with it. Shuts easy. Coming around this side, we're going to shoot down the lower portions. Coming down the midsection again. Lower portions here. Like I said, I'll stop when I see something.
a little haziness on the bottom trend there. A little bit of a gap on the door, passenger side. And they left some wax down there inside the trim. The light scratch right here. Coming down the mid section. This side's a lot cleaner than the driver's side. There's not really anything going on. Except for the door handle here with the pitten. It's always the pitten. A lot of y'all mistake some of this stuff for scratches. I seen your comments on there. You're like, you missed a scratch. I'm pretty sure that was fuzz. I went back and looked. <laughs> that is definitely a scratch. That's a chip. That's what you call a chip right there. <laughs> Coming down the top section here. Let's shake this top out again. Uh, just cause it was on, not on the other side. It could be on this side. So I like to feel, feel around any kind of imperfections, bumps, you know, that'll give me an indication that some rust is trying to form up under there. This top's clean though. My hand's not getting dirty at all. It's pretty good. I mean, it's only going to be on your edges. There's very rare. It's just right here in the center. Um, and you would be able to see it. Tiny little ding right there in the trim beside the emblem. Got a little spot right here. Oh, there's a little tear in the top. See that? That could cause an issue in the future. Be good to go ahead and fix that. Okay, looking over the top of the fender here. And boom, we walked around this car. Let's go ahead and check the interior out. Let's get her started up. And uh, I'll get you some undercarriage shots. Hey, if you like the music at the beginning, please hit that subscribe button on Southgate Production. That's me and my band. Okay, this door panel here is in awesome shape. You got a little bit of discoloration right there on the handle. It's due to use. Weather stripping looks great. Under door shots. Checking the jams. Very clean. Carpet in this thing looks awesome. The seat is in practically new shape. I don't see any wear spots. Back seat's the same way. I got my gear back there. If you want to see what I use, look in the description below. I like the GoPro 7. Thought about getting the 9, but 7's working too good. <laughs> that right there needs to be tightened up. Uh, passenger side armrest in the rear. This back here's got a few imperfections. You see that little panel there needs to be stretched. Same with up here on top. I call this a mechanics headliner because, you know, we just like to try to do stuff. <laughs> And even though we don't know what we're doing, we get it on there. As you can see, it just needs to be tightened up. It's in good shape. Looks like somebody has taken care of it or replaced it. So the back dash there, it's nice. Check out the rest of the headliner before we work our way to the dash. Boom, here we are. What do you think? You think that horn works? I need a horn to work. It's been like three cars in a row. Maybe this will be the street breaker car sounds great looking across the dash our gas tank sitting at quarter tank uh, showing 82,186 miles clock's not working radio oh yeah AC some of that RPM come down. Give me some AC. It's warm right now. We'll leave it on a second. Uh, wipers. The wiper switch is sensitive. So to cut it off, you got to hold it a second. Then it'll drop. If you don't hold it a second, that switch, I think, is faulty. Check 
trying to get her to cool down. So when we started the test drive video, when I first started, it was cool. Now it's not, so. It has all the AC stuff there. It's not getting super cold right now. And that's why I check everything twice. That's why there's two videos. That AC is not getting cold now. We're also missing our fan switch. So you can't turn it up and down. So this control panel might need to be replaced because of that switch. Horn? <laughs> it's like four in a row, no horns. <laughs> That's funny. The dash is in good shape. Till call. Um, so we turn the lights on. We're going to do that and the turn signal. You can see them popping up on the dash there. The right one's not popping up on the dash, but the left one is. But we'll check both of them on the outside. We may have a dead bulb in there. Let's see what we got here. Old compressor's not kicking on. We'll make sure that control's still on. I thought I left it in there. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So it's not kicking on. That's why we're not getting cold. You can see the lines all ran. Motor's quiet. Go ahead and shut this gigantic hood down. It's coming down nice and easy. It's holding itself. A little scuff on the nose there. Nothing major. That should buff out. And it does shut easy. Headlights are on. Turn signal's flashing. Let's check the back here. Looks like tail lights are on and turn signals are flashing. Let's try the other side and then we're gonna go underneath. Might as well go ahead and grab my gear. This is my handy dandy backpack. Is that like Blue's Clues or something? <laughs> my generation. All right. That's why it's not blinking on the dash, I assume. It's not blinking up here in the front on this side. May have a bowl about. It is blinking on the rear though. Let's look under this car. I've got a uh, pretty bright flashlight here that I like to slide up under the cars. And definitely look at the test drive video because I drive over the camera with this light. It shows off the undercarriage. It's in the light here. They haven't spray coated any of this. This is all bare metal here. So check it all out. Okay. Go to the side now. And to the rear. to the driver's side. And I'll cut her off that way. I could do the same thing on the rest of the test drive. Switch her and I'm getting ready to start back on. 
you want to locate that, wait till the last 30 seconds of this video, or you can do it with any of our cars by typing in the year, the model, uh, stock number uh, 1004, which would be this one, and Maple Motors in the YouTube search bar. We're just getting so many cars that we've done, and we like leaving the inventory on there to show what we've had. Uh, there's close to 2,000 videos now on YouTube here, so definitely check some of the previous stuff out. Uh, thank you for watching. If you don't mind, share this video. Also, hit that like button. That helps us out. And if you subscribe, you know, you get to see daily cars like this that are for sale from Maple Motors. You need finance and shipping information? MapleMotors.com is where it's at, along with all of our inventory that's updated every Monday with new cars. All right. I'm getting back to the test drive. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.